Now I'm going to look at the uh, C climates, or those comfortable climates, the middle temperature, uh, so to speak, also known as mesothermal. Uh, and so the C climates. The key to a C climate is the temperature uh, of the coldest month. The average temperature of the coldest month must be less than 65, but greater than freezing, greater than 32 degrees. And so once again, average temperature of the coldest month, less than 65, greater than 32. Now it's focusing on the CFA climate. That's going to be what we call humid subtropical. Um, so it's hard to see these greens in the map. I'll just try to point specifically to where we find the CFA climates. What does the F and the A stand for? The F means we have full year of precipitation. When we look at the Mediterranean climate, another sea climate, they have a summer drought. In the case of this particular climate, the humid subtropical year-round precipitation. The A stands for hot summers. We're talking hot, muggy summers. And so if you know anything about the United States, where do you find hot, muggy summers? The American Southeast. And so another characteristic of the uh, humid subtropical climate is we do tend to see it on the southeast corners of our continents. And so North America, this particular green area here is a humid subtropical climate. We go to another very similar area on the other side of the world, China. China and Taiwan are very similar to the American Southeast, very similar, hot, humid uh, muggy summers, kind of okay, okay winters. It can get kind of be cold at times. Uh, you know, you, occasional mid latitude cyclonic systems uh, in uh, the the winter time come through both of these areas. Also, both of these areas that are humid subtropical are also uh, victims to hurricanes. Hurricanes come crashing in on the southeast corners of both of these two uh, continents. So the southeast corner of Asia. Uh, humid subtropical. The southeast corner of North America, also uh, humid subtropical. Now, we do see that also in the southeast corner of, of the continents in the southern hemisphere. Uh, southern Brazil uh, would be humid subtropical. Uh, a little bit over here, the southeast corner of, of South Africa and southern Africa, and also the southeast corner of Australia. So that's kind of a characteristic of the humid subtropical climates on the eastern sides of continents, particularly the southeast corners uh, of continents. In, in the case of right down here, it's about 30 to 35 degrees uh, latitude, roughly here in the southern hemisphere. Finally, the last characteristic that we see here with these uh, humid subtropical climates is the role of warm ocean currents. And so if we go back and look at the ocean currents, uh, we've talked about beforehand. So the ocean currents, quite warm through here. Uh, we talked about the Brazil current, warm current, right through the southern, on the southern edge uh, of Brazil. Uh, we have warm currents coming down uh, through the little area here between Madagascar and Africa. Uh, we've got warm currents coming down from uh, uh, the equatorial parts of the Pacific here, coming down and hitting the Australian coastline. And so here we have warm currents, which further adds to not only the warm uh, uh, temperatures, but also the moisture characteristics uh, that we find in humid subtropical climates.